assalamu alaikum class so we are studying the topic is direct proportion so for the further calculations first of all we are just go for the review of the lesson of this topic so i am going uh, fastly to revise all the uh, all the topic uh, of direct proportion so this is the objective the direct proportion is the connection of two variables a one multiply by ten. So this is the complete overview of the previous lecture. So this is the general equation practice. So as you uh, you prepared or you will revise this one by going uh, further for direct proportions calculations. So this is the question number one of the class work. I hope you will done this and this is question number three as you see that's which just we just calculate the connecting equation so if you write the question is where uh, a is direct proportion to b a is 18 b is as you see that they give us the f initial two values to calculate the value of k k is the main thing k is the unknown so write an equation linking a and b so we just write the equation by which is link a and b so we just calculate the value of a so further we are going to start question number one which is a complete question of directly proportional so is uh, uh, you are seeing that here the value of k is calculated in, a, in advance so the question is in the following table b is directly proportional to a so the equation is b is equals to k times a find the equation connecting b and a first we have to calculate the equation connecting b and a which we calculated in the pre previous uh, lecture so hence complete the table now this is the further uh, further calculations of the direct proportion so they give us the table here we have the values of a is 3 5 and third one is blank and the values of b is 10.5 and 28 and central value is blank so by using these values this equation b is equals to k times a we are going to calculate the value of b by using the value of a is 5 and the value of a by using the value of uh, b is 28 so next i am revising that b is direct proportion to a it means that b is equals to k times a and next one is substituting values of a and b so we substitute simply the value of a a b which is given in the table so this is 3 and 10.5 so we calculate the value of k so the rearrange equation becomes connecting b and a is b is equals to 3.5 a you are understanding that First, we have to calculate this type of equation. Now, we move on. Now, here we have the equation B is equals to 3.5 times A. Now, we have the value of A is 5, which we use in this equation when A is equals to 5. So, we say that B is equals to 3.5 times A. So, A is 5. Now, put the value of A in this equation. So, you got B, 17.5. So, here we use 17.5 in the table. Next, move on to the second part of the question when b is equals to 28 now b again write the equation b is equals to 3.5 a now we are putting the value of b which is 28 now 3.5 divided to 28 so we got 8 now write the value of a in the table which is 8 so you are understanding that first we have to start the question from the very beginning First, we have to write the equation. Then we substitute the first given values. Either it is given in the table or either it is given in the statement. So this is the values of A and B which we use to calculate the value of K. Now we make the equation this one. After that, after this equation, we are moving further. So when we got this equation, whatever the value is, A is 5, 7, 8, so you just put the value in the equation and you got the value of an other variable same as the second part so next move on question number two the statement is p is directly proportional to q and when p is 22 q is 4 stop here so first we have to check what is the value of p and what is the value of q by using these two values we first calculate the value of k we calculated it now uh, again revising it p is direct proportion to q substitute the value of p and q now you got the value of k so rearrange the equation 
we rewrite the equation so you got p is equals to 5.5 times q right so p is equals to 5.5 times q now you are moving further the first part is hence find p when q is 7 so we are going to find use the equation p is equals to 5.5 q to find the missing values so when q is 7 just 7 is multiplied with 5.5 this is got the answer is 38.5 now when p is 165 now you again write the equation p is equals to 5.5 times q so value of p is 165 right the value of p 165 so 165 divided by 5.5 is 30 so you got the value of q now both the parts is solved separately you are uh, you are going to write the equation two times so first you have to write the equation p is equal to 5.5 to 2 and you got the value of p and then you again write the equation and put the value of p and solve it and then you got the value of q this is a simple method to calculate the direct proportion question so next move on question number three again now the equation is first we have to write the equation in the following table b is directly proportional to a square right so we have to write the equation b is equals to k times a square now substitute values of a and b 14 and 2 so a is a is a is 2 so it is square so 2 square is 4 4 divided it becomes 3.5 okay value of k is 3.5 now rearrange the equation so equation becomes equation connecting b and a is b is equals to 3.5 times a square next now we are going to move on to complete this table in the following table so the value of a is 5 now we use this equation b is equals to 3.5 a square which we find in the previous slide so write the equation when a is equals to 5 b is equals to 3.5 a square put the value of a here so 3.5 times 5 square 5 square is 25 25 multiplied by 3.5 87.5 now 87.5 we have to write in the table one so next move on second part he gave us the value of b 61.74 so just write the equation b is equal to 3.5 a square now you put the value of b which is 61.74 equals to 3.5 now 3.5 divided by 61.34 it becomes 17.64 now taking square root so you got 4.2 so we have uh, the simple calculations to calculate this type of question now we have to write the equation in the table next move on question number four so question number four is same as the question number three just the values are different so p is directly equation to q square first you have to write the equation next you have to write substitute the values p and q which is p 8 q 4 you got k 0 0.5 now rearrange the equation you got the equation which becomes p is equals to 0 0.5 q square this is the main thing which you use for the solving of the further two parts this equation is used now move on second part first part p find he said that find p when q is equals to 7 so we write the equation p is equals to 0 0.5 q square now when q is equals to 7 just put the value of q 7 square is 49 multiplied by 0 0.5 half 49 half is 24.5 now next move on when p is equals to 84 then find q now 84.5 divided by 0 0.5 so you got the answer 169 169 square root is becomes 13 so this is this simple calculation 169 square root is 13 so you got the answer so this is the way how to find the direct proportional question first you have to write the equation then first two values first two values will be used to calculate the value of k then you again write the equation which connect two variables now then you can use to calculate other answers of this question of any type of question so this is the main overview of this topic direct proportion so 
I hope you will solve these questions on the notebook and give the response. The first one is why is direct proportion to x? Second one is why is direct proportion to x square? Third one is why is directly proportional to square root of x? And fourth one is why is directly proportional to squared of x, right? Squared of x means x squared. So this is the simple values. Just put the values in the equation, calculate the value of k, and then find the further parts of these questions. I hope you will give the response, everyone. So be conscious about the homework. Take care. Allah Hafiz.